हेलो फ्रेंड्स वो विल स्टडी दी रिमेनिंग अनसोल्व न्यूमेरिकल फ्रॉम द मैकमिलन बुक ऑफ द टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी सो फ्रेंड्स सी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन बी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन बी वाट क्वेश्चन से इज माई ग्रैंड फादर स्टार्ट गिविंग मी वन लैख फॉर द नेक्स्ट फोर ईयर्स एंड इफ द इंटरेस्ट रेट इज टेन परसेंट पर एन एम हाउ मच अमाउंट आई विल गेट एट द एंड ऑफ फोर ईयर इट इज वेरी सिंपल माई ग्रैंड फादर इज गिविंग मी वन लैख रुपीज फॉर द नेक्स्ट फोर ईयर दैट मीन्स टोटल फोर लैख आई विल रिसीव ओके एंड इफ इंटरेस्ट रेट इज टेन परसेंट पर एन एम वट एंड हाउ मच अमाउंट विल आई गेट आफ्टर द फोर ईयर दैट मीन्स we have to find the future value what amount you uh, i will get at the end of a four year that is nothing but the future value we have to calculate see friends here nothing they have mentioned uh, that when the my grandfather is giving money me right whether it is at the beginning of the period or end of the period so definitely uh, when nothing is mentioned we have to take the normal that is the ordinary annuity and what is ordinary annuity that is normal annuity we can say it is always at the end of the period end of the period is nothing but the ordinary annuity so we have to assume it is the end of, uh, cash flow at the end of the period okay now see what they have given my fa- my grandfather is giving me 1 lakh rupees continuously for the four year that means 1 lakh 1 lakh rupees is the constant cash flow for the four year that's why annuity annuity is nothing but the constant cash flow so a we have taken 1 lakh rupees and for next four year so n we have taken four years and next is the rate of interest is a 10% so we have taken rate of interest 10% that is nothing but the 0.1 right and uh, 10% to remove the percentage sign just divide by 100 so it is nothing but the 0.1 so what we have to do we have to find the future value and we have the formula what is the formula future value of ordinary annuity is nothing but the a upon r into bracket x minus 1 Where x is equal to one plus r raised to n. So what is a r is a one zero point one. Just to put a value, one plus zero point one. You will get one point one raised to power four. So calculate using the simple calculator. The link for the in the description is given how to calculate the higher power. Just uh, type one point one, multiply two times, and uh, three times you have to press the equal sign. You will get one point four six four one as the value of x. Just put the value of x in the formula. A is a one lakh rupees. There is constant cash flow. R is a zero point one percent. X is nothing but the one point four six four one minus one. So when you solve using the simple calculator, you will get future value of ordinary annuity. That is the four lakh sixty four thousand and a hundred rupees. That means if my grandfather gives one lakh rupees me for the next four years, at the end of the period. And uh, interest rate is ten percent. I will have four lakh sixty four thousand and hundred rupees. Okay, friends. So this is the solution for seventeen uh, B. Now we have to see the solution for the question number seventeen and uh, uh, the sub uh, sub question is C. So friends, see what question says. A quarterly repayment of the loan carry an interest rate of eight percent per annum. What is the effective annual interest rate? Very simple. They have given the rate, uh, the per annum interest rate is eight percent, and uh, it is a quarterly repayment. So we have to find the effective rate of interest. It is very very simple. The rate they have given eight percent. We know there are four quarters in a year. So eight divided by four, you will get two percent quarterly rate of interest. Two percent is nothing but the zero point zero two, and n is equal to four as there are four quarters. Okay, and we have the formula. For the calculation of the rate of interest, what the formula that we have? We have the formula that uh, rate effective rate of interest is nothing but the one plus r raised to n minus one. That is uh, basically x minus one because we always assume one plus r raised to n is nothing but our x. So just use that formula one plus r raised to power n minus one. So one plus r we have derived here zero point zero two. So one point zero point zero two. So uh, raised to power four minus one. So you will get uh, here uh, if when you calculate one point zero two raised to power four, you will get one point zero eight two four. So when you solve using the simple calculator, you will get answer that is eight point two four. Okay. The important thing what you have to remember convert the effective rate of interest. That means uh, if it is per annum, convert it in the quarterly form. Take n as a four and just put value in the 
formula okay this is very very important friends the for two marks and generally they are asking and if they are asking the comparison of the investment for three marks they will ask this type of numerical okay now we will move to the next case study and the next unsolved numerical from the macmillan book see here friends next is the find the interest rate we have to find the interest rate there is a question number 17 d part d part it is also very 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 most important see friends because uh, we have to find the interest rate and the present value they have given 100 future value they have given 115.76 in a three years that means time period they have given present value 100 future value 105.76 time period is three year and we have to find the rate of interest it is a very basic example we have the formula future value is nothing but the present value into x right so future value is equal to uh, x is nothing but our 1 plus r is pn into present value so just to put a values uh, future value they have given just to put a value 1 plus r is pn that is a 1 plus r raised to power 3 r we have to find and just to multiply by present value they have given 100 so you will get uh, when you rearrange the formula you will get 1 plus r raised to power 3 is equal to 1.1576 just divide by 100 okay so how to solve that so you are no, uh, so calculating the cube root of this value is complicated right so you don't need to calculate the cube root of this value because it is lengthy and complicated process using the calculator also so definitely what you have to do just uh, go by the go by the trial and error method they have given options 5 percent 6 percent 7 percent and 8 percent so just try uh, by putting the value of a 5 percent in this formula if the both side matches then that will be our answer so definitely how to solve c uh, 5 percent is nothing but the 0 0.05 right so 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to power 3 is equal to 1.05 raised to power 3 you will get 1.1576 that means both the sides are matching definitely our answer is 0 that is a 5 percent okay so in this fashion you have to solve this type of numerical don't go that how to calculate the cube root just put value by trial and error method in a fraction of second you can solve this okay now our task is to solve the next numerical this is the important case study so friends see this is very very important case study so uh, we will see that case study in detail uh, we have already discussed a lot of numericals based on the present value calculation so solving this case study also very easy for you see friends what they have given a receives a contract for the 15 lakh that means there is a contract of 15 lakh rupees and how a receives that contract by providing 3 lakh rupees for the 5 years that means 5 into 3 that is total 15 lakh a is paying okay similarly b receives a contract for the same work b also receive the same contract but b receive only for the 14 lakh rupees right and for the same period they are receiving the contracts but how b pays b giving 4 lakh rupees up front that means b gives 4 lakh rupees advance and the remaining 2 lakh rupees uh, the remaining 10 lakh rupees is paid by b by 2 lakh at the end of each year for the five year that means how a is paying a is paying 15 lakh rupees by 3 lakh rupees per, per year for the five years and how b pays b pays 4 lakh rupees as advance and for remaining b will pay 2 lakh rupees per year for the five years that means total 10 lakh plus 4 lakh that is 14 lakh here uh, then uh, they are asking who is better off that means who will be uh, getting more benefit uh, see common sense you, you how you can apply a will give 5 lakh rupees and b is uh, for the same contract paying 14 lakh rupees so you can think that b is better because b is paying less money so friends it is not like that <coughs> it is not like that it is not that much of it that's why there is a concept in the economics present value <coughs> okay and uh, so how to solve this type of case study and uh, what should be the approach for that that we have to discuss okay now see here the rate of interest is uh, not given so we have to assume the rate of interest say 10 percent for both of them a and b so 10 percent is nothing but the 0 0.1 okay now see what a is doing a is doing uh, payment of 3 lakh rupees for the next five years 
that is he is constantly doing three, uh, for the next five years constant cash flow of three lakh rupees that means whatever the cash a is giving for the next five years we have to find the present value of that right and uh, we have to take here here they have not mentioned at the end of the period of the beginning of the period so we have to take the ordinary entity that is end of the period so we have to calculate the cash flow of a three lakh rupees for the five years what is the present value for that so present value for ordinary annuity that is a constant cash flow at the end of year is nothing but the a upon r into bracket x minus 1 divided by x okay and uh, where x is nothing but the 1 plus r is to n a is paying 3 lakh per year for the next 5 years so n will become 5 and uh, r is we have assumed as a 0 uh, 10 percent so it value become 0 0.1 so just to calculate the x how to calculate the x x is 1 plus r is to n just to put a value r is a 0 0.1 and n as a 5 you will get x value as the 1.6105 so just to put the value in the formula a is a 3 lakh rupees per year constant cash flow annuity a divided by r into bracket 0 0.6105 divided by 1.6105 that is x minus 1 and x when you solve this using the simple calculator you will get the what is the present value of the a which a is going to pay that means basically the present value of a 15 lakh right that will become 11 lakh that is 11 lakh 37,224 okay now we have to calculate similarly for the B what B is doing B is doing 4 lakh rupees as advance and 4 lakh rupees as advance and the remaining for the 2 lakh rupees per year B is paying that means B is paying 2 lakh rupees per year for the next 5 years so we have to calculate the present value of that 2 lakh rupees being paid by B at the end of each year that is at the end of each year for the five years at the end of each year that is that is nothing but the ordinary annuity okay so take here see b is paying two lakh at the end of each year so we have to find present value of that two lakh rupees being paid by b at the end of each year so we have formula that is the present value for the ordinary annuity is nothing but a upon r into bracket x minus one where x is equal to one plus r is to n the similar formula is there okay so just to put the value we have already calculated the value for x there is a 1 plus r is to n there is a 1.6105 <coughs> okay now when you put the value and solve using the simple calculator you will get present value of a 2 lakh rupees after the 5 years will become will 7 lakh 58 thousand okay and uh, we all know that uh, b has already paid the 4 lakh as the upper front that means 4 lakh as advance is already be, uh, paid by b so when you add because uh, 4 lakh is paid at the beginning right and uh, so present value of 4 lakh will be 4 lakh only okay so 4 lakh is advance so just add a 4 lakh in 7 lakh 58 thousand so you will get total uh, value for the b will become 11 lakh 58 thousand right that means what we have uh, analyze here the present value total for b is total is nothing but the 11 lakh 58000 similarly for a it is only 11 lakh 37224 that means a is paying suppose this value and b is totally paying this value okay that means who is better a is paying less and b is paying more that's why a is more beneficial in this contract so friends see here in the beginning what we have understood understood a paying 15 lakh and b is paying 14 lakh right but as there is a time involved and there is a uh, advance payment involved by b that's why the present value of a b's will be less will be more right so definitely who is paying less here will be the better because it is the payment involved here because a and b are paying for the contract that's why a is uh, paying less and uh, b is paying more that's why we can say a is a uh, good investor here and b is not okay so in this fashion we have to solve the case study based on that so remaining problem we will continue our discussion in the next lecture